All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors. Today, we're going to be talking about high end modifications that you can do to your kayak. Now, high end, what does that even mean? That means to me, at least circa 2020, June, July, you know, summer 2020. Uh, that means if you spent at least a couple hundred bucks on this mod, it's a high-end mod because kayaks are getting pricey, but there's there's still a big range in terms of prices. So anyways, we're going to go over some of my mods that I've done in this kayak that I feel are high-end mods. I feel are high-end mods because there are alternatives but I've decided to do this one and this one is typically more expensive more higher end okay so let's talk this first one we'll start from the back and I'll go to the front some of you already know some of you might already know what I'm gonna talk about as soon as I put this thing on here this is the power pole Palpo Micro Anchor. And the reason why it is what it is, is there's so many power spikes, there's so many DIY PVC tubes that you can buy. You can toss an anchor overboard. I mean, all those accessories, modifications, are going to be cheaper than this. I mean, by like 10 times cheaper. This by itself is $599. The stick is another $100. If you buy the battery pack, it's like another $150, I think. So all in all, you might be dropping about $900 after taxes on this setup, okay? You might. Just saying. You might. Or you can build an anchor system. It might cost you $50 to $60. You can buy a PVC pipe, stick it in the ground, tie it to the kayak. I don't know, 5 bucks, something like that. But I tell you what, after using it for four years... And this is my third power pole. I want a power pole on every single kayak going forward. That's how good it is. That's why I want it. That is also very expensive. Whew. Okay. So let's go to the next item. It's not the fish live well. Okay. That's not a high end item. Eh, so to some people it might. But to me, that's not a high end item. That's kind of a necessity. You got to have that. But something like this this little light here you know that to me is high end because most people don't even put a light on their kayak but as a tournament angler and as an avid angler that goes out before the sun comes up and you don't come back to the ramp until the sun goes down we gotta have a light and we gotta have a good one so other guys can see us the boats and runners over the guys in the ocean things like that they should have one they should and it's a safety thing you know so this is actually more of the more higher end lights. It's got the little tilting neck on here. It's got a true LED 360 LEDs all the way around, as you can see. And you can unplug it and stow it, just like the one you'd find on a boat. And it's high end because it's even got a nice cover. Yeah. Anyways, let me put this back. Plug it back in. Bam turns back on it's also extendable so if you're in five footers you can extend this up way high I believe it extends to 72 inches but don't quote me on that actually yeah I think it does anyways it'll be in the product description as to where you can find one that's a high-end stick okay you I mean you can even put a flag on it if you want that's how high it extends the next and this is where this is a category where you can get uh, something that will do everything for you and you can completely go overkill on this okay and that's a fish finder and my description of a high-end fish finder is one that I believe once it can start doing side imaging or at least on this one they call it side view well Garmin calls it side view let me see what we got yeah move over This is Raymarine. Every company has their own little uh, terminology they use. But, oh yeah, so, so this one this one's very advanced. Okay, so we got traditional sonar, which is some people call it 2D sonar. We got down vision, 
Uh, Humminbird calls that down imaging. Uh, Garmin calls it down view. And then you got side vision. Garmin calls it side view. Uh, Humminbird calls it side imaging. And Lorenz calls it structure scan. But this one's also got hypervision 3D, which is something that I believe only Raymarine and Garmin currently offer. Basically, it's a 3D image of what's going on after you pass what you're trying to look for. Okay, so that's a high-end unit, man. That's a seven, $800 unit. Once you start breaking that $600 mark, it gets pretty expensive. And this ain't even that expensive. I've seen people put 360 imaging on it. One of my... Uh, friends who fishes the, the tour with us, the kayak angler tours with us. Well, it's not even a tour. It's more like a... Well, it, it, it's, a, it's a state tour. It's, we stayed in the state. They're running panoptics. That stuff is expansive. We're talking a complete system for like $3,000. That's a value or... That's that's more than most kayaks. Most high-end kayaks. Don't, don't get me wrong though. I might buy one too because I think it's pretty cool. Chasing stripers in open water. Hmm. You guys might see that. You guys might see that. But anyways, you know, you, you could all, the reason why I say this is a high-end setup is because you could always get a $100 setup that'll just get you that feature, and that's it. But this one's got everything. You got that. You got GPS. You got GPS. I mean, it's got everything on here. It's got everything. This is just not the most high-end because it's only a 7-inch screen. But it's got, it's got all the technologies in it. That's what I'm saying. Once you max a unit out, in terms of technologies, it's considered a high-end unit, at least to me. The more screen you size you go, the more hundreds of dollars you'll pay, the faster processors, things like that. But that that by itself is high-end, okay? All right. So, what is a high-end kayak without a banging system? I'm talking audio system. That is an amplifier. Oh, yeah, I said it. That's an amplifier. Let me zoom in on that for you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See it? There it is. And it's also Bluetooth, okay? And you can connect your phone to it. Speaker is actually located underneath the kayak. In that little black trap door right there. Okay? That for sure it is a high-end mod for sure so what is it it is actually a diy hydrowave where you can play fish sounds and hopefully like yeah as a tournament angler it's kind of a big deal uh we play fish sounds to the fish so the fish can possibly change the mood and they might bite our crankbaits or lures as, as they come by but big but is if you're having a bad day you know play some tunes man or at least after uh, the time's up and you're just paddling back to your car or truck, play some tunes, man. It's real nice. Or heck, if you're not even in a tournament environment and you're, you and your buddies are just, you know, floating the river, play some tunes. I'm telling you, that's a high-end mod. Last but not least, the last high-end mod I want to talk about is, I mean, look at this. We got, we got unit number one, power home. Amplifier power hungry. That light might even be power hungry, and obviously the power pole has to be power hungry. So how are you gonna power all this stuff? I mean like you don't need like four batteries, right? Wrong. High-end kayaks, we rig our kayaks with a power harness. A power harness that can pull power from one central battery. This is just a basic 20 amp hour, but I've seen guys run 50 amp hour lithiums. On my tournament rig, I run a 30 amp hour lithium, okay? That's right, 30 amp hour lithium provides enough power for two full days, two 10 hour days of fishing. This battery is probably only good for about 10 hours in one day, and then it's done. But the lithium is good enough because it's, uh, it's a 30 amp hour instead of a 20. Lead acid versus lithiums, it's almost four times more juice you, you can use. That's a topic for another day. But the harness, the harness, uh, it pulls power from one central location and it distributes the power to all your accessories. And all the accessories are power hungry. So, let me show you what I got. 
Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is your fish finder. I've hidden the uh, the buttons right here. These are your power buttons. Some people call them gangs. Some people just call them breakers. But anyways, that's power distribution right here. It's hidden behind that little neck. So you, you know, so people don't see it. But there it is, you know. Turn it on and off. So I got two on the left, got two more on the right. On and off. That's power distribution. I call that the K harness. At least I've dubbed it the K harness. If you need one, if you want to buy one, send me a message and we can work some deals out. Okay? So, that's my top five. Well, yeah, I guess it is top five. Top five high end kayak accessories. All right, guys. I hope you guys agree with my top five. If you don't, let me know in the comments and we can, you know, argue and do all that stuff. It's always nice to have a nice debate with the, the guys that are, you know, following the channel, the subscribers, and everything. So if you don't agree, let me know. If you feel there's a, do you need, there needs to be an honorable mention, let me know. And uh, if you just like the video in general, let me know. Share it with your friends. The kayak is going to be for sale here in about a couple weeks, so uh, be on the lookout for that. We're not sure if we're going to do raffle tickets yet or we're going to do just straight for sale. So let me know if anyone's interested in that. If you want to buy it, let me know. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and share on this video, and I will see you on the next one. All right, guys? See ya.